Okay, so my intention here is to go through the items on the digital transformation list that I'm either already using or how I'm using them and any plans that I have for further integration of these principles. Uh, the backwards design thing, it's almost obvious. However, it does warrant further examination to determine if the methods being used are producing the desired results. Okay, with foundational learning in my class, which is called Survey of Music Business, students are required to read each chapter of the online textbook. We usually spend two weeks per chapter and I give them at least one day in class to do the reading. And they're encouraged to finish the reading outside of class and or read the chapter more than one time. There is an assignment to summarize in a paragraph or so in Blackboard what they got out of the reading. Complete sentences are required as is proper grammar. With active learning, the new online textbook includes a flashcard game that we actually play in class for each chapter after everyone has read the chapter. You can go with the answers first and then the questions or vice versa. We usually do it both ways just for reinforcement's sake. The online text also has quite a few links to youtube.com videos pertinent to the current subject that we watch in class, or at least the ones that are the most value. Some discussion happens after each video. With formative practice, there's room for improvement, but as right now, the online text has a quiz for each chapter and an exam. Students take both one week apart generally, and I need to be more proactive in reviewing the quiz grades before the test to see where problems exist. The text does provide uh, exam reviews and the students are encouraged to use those. Uh, with authentic assessment, my class is not about proving acquired skills as much in de as demonstrating learned knowledge. Currently, we're using the quizzes and exams provided by the author of the text. Since I just started with this text in the fall of 23, I'm now considering whether or not to continue with the provided exams or to create my own that would be geared towards the authentic assessment ideal. Transparency and learning. In my class, the why of what we're doing and is pretty clear because I talk a lot about how the information I'm presenting uh, is going to be valuable as the students begin to pursue their careers in music business. I also think that my syllabus that I read in class during the first class meeting is clear on what we're going to do, how and when we're going to do it, etc. For caring and inclusivity, I'm making an extra effort now to make sure that I know everyone's name, what instrument they play, sing, or whatever. And the class population has always been diverse, and I do my best to treat everyone equal, pronounce their names correctly, et cetera.